This is problem 2 in IMO 1968. To find all natural numbers n, such that the product of its decimal digits equals to n squared minus 10n minus 22. Before we move on, don't forget to give a like, subscribe to my channel, and turn on post notifications. The first step to solve this problem is to establish a bound on the number of digits of n in terms of n. So, for example, if n takes the value 10, then it has two digits, or similarly up to 99, and then when it comes to 100, to 199, these numbers have three digits. The pattern is that if I take log base 10 log on these numbers, then it takes the range between 1 and 2. Of course, it won't reach 2 because only log of 100 is equal to 2. And similarly, I can do similar things on three digit numbers and the range of the logs are between 2 and 3. So I can say that the number of digits I can write as is less than or equal to log of n and this number added by 1. But for example, for two digit numbers, then this log term is between 1 and 2. And if I add 1, then it's at least 2 and at most 3. So two digit numbers, the number that just is 2 is less than or equal to uh, some numbers between 2 and 3. And that's, that's a correct bound even though it's very weak. Now having a bound on the number of digits in terms of n, I can now say that the product of this decimal digits, n squared minus 10n minus 22, is less, is less than or equal to 9 to the power of the number of digits. The reason is that if all digits are 9, then the product of the digits will be 9 to the power of the number of digits. And it is surely less than or equal to that. Now I can take log on both sides to continue solving this problem. The right hand side will become log n added by 1 multiplied by log 9. And I can simplify the expression log n added by 1 into log of 10n because we're at base 10. And I can replace this one by log 10. Now from this inequality, I can further say that this log 9 is less than 1. So therefore, log of n squared minus 10n minus 22 is less than log of 10n. And so I now have this quadratic inequality. Now by completing squares, I can say that because n is an, a natural number, so n minus 10 can be 0 plus or minus 1 plus or minus 2 all the way up to plus or minus 11. So that means n can be numbers from 1 to at most 21. So now I have 
they generated the cases into from infinitely many possibilities into only 21 possibilities, which is finite. Moreover, also, n squared minus 10n minus 22 must be non-negative because it's in nature products of digits and those digits are non-negative integers and so the product must also be non-negative. I have solved this inequality instead. I will see that n minus 5 is at least 7. So that means n is at least 12. So now we we'll further reduce number of cases to 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, up to 21. So let's try all of them. There are just only 10 numbers left. If the number is 12, then the product is 2. And we can do the same all the way up to 19. And then if n is 20, the product is 0. If n is 21, the product is 2 again. It remains to calculate n squared minus 10n minus 22. I can rewrite this as n minus 5 whole squared minus 47. When n is 12, so it's 7 squared minus 47, that's 2. This is the an answer. And then when n is 13, it's 64, because it's 8 squared, 64 minus 47, so that's 17. Actually, I do not have to check 14 to 19, because this number will just keeps increasing. So, all larger than 10, so not possible. And for 20, it's actually still increasing, so I can further extend this to numbers up to 21. So that means the only answer is 12. So I would say that, therefore, n equals 12. This is the final answer.